A sixth person in the U.S. has died from what doctors call a vaping-related illness. KSBY News reporter Alex Gonzalez spoke with local health workers about what they're telling the public. That's right, Richard. I spoke today with San Luis Obispo County Public Health Director Dr. Penny Borenstein, who says the number of nationwide cases is alarming. Now, according to the CDC, there are more than 450 similar cases, and about 13% of those call California home. The California Department of Public Health has identified 62 potential cases of acute lung disease in people with a recent history of vaping. Slow County's Public Health Director Dr. Penny Borenstein says even though there have not been any reported cases in our area, it does not mean we have been spared. To anyone who has never vaped before, um, if this doesn't convince you to not take up the habit, um, I'm not sure what else would. Borenstein does realize cigarette smokers often transition to vaping, believing it will curb their cigarette and or nicotine use. Pulmonologist Dr. Michael Ryan says while research is still being conducted on the effects of vaping, the dialogue doctors are having with their patients is changing. Traditionally said the long-term health effects are unknown, but now that is very rapidly changing to uh, vaping leading to a potentially a, a serious and potentially fatal lung injury. Now, Dr. Borenstein also mentioning to me that there have been more than 10 counties within the state of California in which at least one case has presented itself. She says there is no reason to believe Slow County is immune. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, Alex Gonzalez, KSPY News. All right, Alex, thank you. The California Department of Health states that most patients with the acute lung illness reported purchasing vaping products from unregulated and pop-up type shops.